On a crane high above Boylston Street, crews inspected the outside of a building after two pieces of its facade were ripped off Friday afternoon by strong winds. A crazy sound and then, you know, a huge piece came and hit a car that was kind of passing by. Amy O'Sullivan manages a Burton snowboard store on the ground floor of the damaged building. She says police ordered her and her staff to lock the doors and stay inside while they closed down the street. It was definitely hectic. Uh, interesting, but just glad no one got hurt. Nobody hurt, but O'Sullivan store is one of four businesses on the 1300 block of Boylston Street that were off limits to customers on this last Saturday before Christmas. Must be a little frustrating because you're so close. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> just a few steps over there. Machiko Araki came to Burton planning to pick up some gifts she'd ordered. How much of an inconvenience is this going to be for you? Um, it's a little bit of an inconvenience. I live in Malden, so it's going to be kind of a hike to drive back over here. Burton employees were inside the store stocking merchandise and taking phone orders, but they already know this weekend won't be the big holiday season wrap up they were hoping for. This whole week has been our best week on business so far. Um, you know, thousands of dollars, um, but we're doing what we can. And back now live, you see those repair crews up in the bucket of the crane. They're using flashlights, and it sounds as if they are using power tools to add additional fasteners to the outside of the building. There are also 172 apartments in this building, but the building's owner says they are not affected by the street closure. Live in Boston, David Beening, WCVB, News Center 5.